Hey guys, so you might be thinking, hey, that image app looks really cool. I'd really love to replace my subscription with Google Photos, uh, but I don't really know anything about self-hosting. I don't really know anything about Linux or having a server. Can I just run that application on my Windows PC or my Mac? Yes, you can, you certainly can. All you really need is to download Docker Desktop and run image on it. Um, and then you can run it on your local host. You can even connect to it from the image app after you get it started. Now, the main limitation is that you're probably not gonna be running a web server on your on your PC or your Mac, uh, in which case you're not gonna you know, have a custom domain or access it from outside of your network unless you have a VPN like WireGuard running on your network, which is totally fine and it's a secure way of running it. So if you wanna just check out image, run it on your PC, go ahead. You know, you can use it on the local host on your network for as long as you want. And if you decide later that you wanna actually be able to access it from outside your network, you can configure that into, uh, I would suggest, in a uh, Linux distribution. So let's check it out. This course of action is going to be downloading Docker Desktop. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll get Docker Desktop for Windows. Okay, go ahead and open the installer. All right, we'll go ahead and restart. And it should look something like this. Go to image.app for the installation instructions. Let's go to get started, install, Docker Compose. So we're gonna create a directory for our image app, really just to house the Docker Compose file. And then, uh, and then we'll start it up. So let's go ahead and put that inside of our Linux area here. Let's go to the home folder. Go ahead and create a folder for your own user. And then I like to create a folder dedicated for Docker apps, so Docker app. And then um, you can run this command right here to create the image app. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do that. And we'll just navigate here, copy this, bounce over here, and let's open up a command terminal. And okay, let's just go ahead and paste that. So we've created our image app directory. Let me refresh this right there. And then now let's go ahead and download the Docker Compose file. Let's do that. And let's download the environmental variables file. This just allows us to interact with parameters that the Docker Compose file uses so that if we need to download a new Docker Compose file, we still have our same environmental variables. Okay, let's open up this folder and we have both of those files that we just downloaded. Let's go ahead and open up that environmental variables file. You might want to change the database password and you might want to change where files are uploaded. So let's create a library and let's create a post Grass, where we will store the database. And then let's see if we can copy that and see if it likes that. Go here and we're gonna go Docker compose up D. Okay, that's going. So the very first time you run this, it might take a little while to download um, all of the containers, but for future updates, it is a very fast process. 
let's just open up Docker Desktop. We can check all of the containers. They are all up and running. So let's let's see here. So let's see if we can connect to localhost 2283. And there we go. We've got image up and running. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and configure it real quick so that we can test it out on our mobile device, whatnot. Try this out. Let's see. All right, sign up. All right, so we're going to log in for the first time. Stick with dark. We'll stick with done. All right, so we can see the storage on my hard drive that it's showing right there. Let's just throw in some images for some fun. All right, how about we just toss in a couple of these uh, YouTube thumbnails that I have. So let's just do this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, some PNGs, some JPEGs. Drag it in there, and you can see that we're uploading. And we've uploaded all of those. Let's just check out the storage location. Let's see what this looks like. So we'll hop over to where I created that folder, Docker, image, library. And you can see that it, it creates thumbnails, upload, and a library. So uploaded files have, has its own kind of storage. And we can also see any kind of worker action that is happening in the background. Okay, let's see. Does it already have... my face it sure does so if i go to explore i can see it's already done the facial recognition on my face go ahead and add myself and there we go four assets with my name let's see if it has any uh i don't think there's any location data on this particular on those thumbnails since i created on my computer. But let's go ahead and try to connect on my phone. So before I do this, let's go ahead and just check what our IP address is. Go IP config. Let's try a new rule, port, and let's do the image port. And we're going to keep it on private. And we'll call it image app. Okay. Does that show up here somewhere? Here it is. Okay, it looks like I'm connected now, so go ahead and type in that email address, and there we go. So I'm logged into the app, and let's see, it's gonna check to see if there's anything to upload. I can, of course, change the uh, upload, upload settings to automatically start backing up albums. But here we go, we have uh, our own Google Photos replacement. Uh, running image on our Windows PC here. It can be up and running whenever our computer is on. We can leave our computer on uh, all the time. And as long as my phone is on 
my home network, uh, I'm able to access my whole photo library collection using the image mobile application, which is a phenomenal mobile application. It has all the features that the web application has and uh, pretty much everything that you could you could want out of a Google library. Uh, I'll do another video where I'm actually playing with uh, uploading and comparing it to Google Photos. Uh, we'll even get into the, the CLI uh, to you know automatically create albums uh, and image from our own you know photo library in Windows, um, which I think is a very useful tool. If you suck with me and you've got image set up on your your own Windows PC and you're running it from the mobile app, Please consider liking the video, subscribe to see more like this, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, see you later.